When he heard about the explosions going on in the Ukraine, Professor Vincent Smith immediately thought of stories that he was told growing up. My mother lived through the London Blitzes in the 1940s. And I have heard stories about how terrifying it was. Bombs explode in the city in which she lived. And today, the people of Ukraine seeing missiles and explosions in a place they call home. No other way to describe uh, Russia's behavior as simply arbitrarily, and in my view, wickedly, aggressive. Aggressive, but Associate Professor James Meyer says it's not unexpected. This all has a lot more to do with NATO than Ukraine itself. Professor Meyer goes on to say that the goal of President Putin may be the positioning of NATO. Push NATO back westward, uh, closer to where NATO's borders were in 1989. Right now, numbers are changing rapidly, but what will we feel in Montana following the invasion? Well, sanctions on embargoes on Russia's natural gas could drive up price that we pay at the pump, but our wheat farmers may see an impact. Both cash and futures prices for wheat jump by about 12.5 to 15 percent over the last two days. A tragic silver lining from the point of view of humanity is that very locally our farmers may benefit from higher prices. I doubt too many Montana farmers though believe they should benefit at the expense of terrifying uh, experiences and life-costing experiences for civilians in Kiev. In Bozeman, Jane McDonald, MTN News.